Welcome, Leo, to your November numerology reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Leo. 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 What the spirit got to say to you in November? Okay, Leo, you have domestic harmony with leadership. Nice. And compassion. That's a beautiful Leo card right there, taking on that leadership. Uh, Leos are one of the biggest leaders um, within this planet. So very nice within the Zodiac. So really taking on those leadership skills, getting straight into your own energy. You have six plus four is 10 equaling one. That's that new beginning. And then you have nine over here and then nine again. So nice. So it's almost like you have this ending that brings in this new beginning, or you just started a new beginning that's going to wrap this up and it's going to be really fast, right? Really, really quick. So, okay. And getting you into another cycle again, right? Some cycles are um, smaller than others, you guys. You learn it, you get through it, and it's done and it's over with, right? And it only takes a month to do so. So but this one over here is really telling us, get inspired. Um, one, Spirit is trying to tell you, hey, look, you have this new beginning coming that I want you to start initiating with. I want you to get within yourself and really pay attention to what's going on in your domestic uh, harmony. Domestic is anything that has to do with your home, your family, <coughs> excuse me, getting a new dog, um, your children, anything, right? So let's see what Spirit has to say. How about the domestic harmony? You have the Nine of Cups. Oh, doing the things that you would like to do for yourself with the King of Wands. You could be also, if you have a domestic partner or somebody around you, um, which could be committed or, you know, however. It could even be a child, a mother whoever, maybe even somebody you live with, right? Just that person I live with. Um, but it's fine because you're also taking on this beautiful Sagittarius um, energy, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius in your domestic harmony. Very nice. And it feels justified at this time. So Spirit just really wants you to know everything is justified at this time. Everything is balanced. It's in your favor. Um, your Nine of Cups is satisfactory to you. So if you want to start you know, cleaning up your space, decluttering things around you. Um, you have family issues, relationships, um, issues with friends, you know, children. Um, the doors are open for you to make these moves within this area. Okay. You might even be, you know, fixing the house um, with domestic. So maybe you're putting up new curtains, you know, doing anything like that. Yeah, and it is definitely going to be victory for you. Um, this is a very good because, yeah, like I said, the doors are open for you right now to start doing these things. Okay, so if you do have any issues with family, friends, um, anything you consider within your area of domestic um, relationships, could be even a dad, child, anybody, it's justified to go ahead and the truth will be known. It is balanced and it is ready to be fixed. Okay, so you have leadership over here with the three of swords upside down. Anything that was painstaking you is now coming to an end. It is time to remove these swords one by one. Start the healing to get towards what's passionate. Don't worry about who's not supporting you, Leo. If you have a page of pentacles over here who is a Virgo or a Capricorn, could even be Taurus, who is not supporting you within your leadership role, it's, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah, they might even be talking down about you. Just, they could be making you very cold at this time. The spirit wants you to know, 
take on your leadership's rules and get through it. And this is going to make a huge, during Scorpio season, make a huge transformation for yourself within the domestic area. So no matter what, the biggest card in this is the domestic harmony coming out as number one. Um, that's why this card sits here because it's pretty much kind of talking about everything around you um, in this area. So, okay. And, you know, you might want someone to come and support you um, in this, this time. And um, they may have not have been supporting you in the past. And maybe now they're going to come um, and help you out. Um, and this could be where the passion is coming. It's like, I waited for you to support me before. You never wanted to do that. You cold shouldered me. Now it feels like they say, hey, you know what? I'm going to come help you. Um, okay. So. And let's see what else is going on there. And the chariot. So if you have any kind of event that you might be going through um, with the chariot sitting over here. It is time to get going to this event. Um, it's coming towards you. Um, you could be going to, you know, a wedding or something of this nature this month. Um, and something that's going to transform and, and help with the growth process, okay, within the domestic area. Okay. You might even have a partner. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just seen it. You guys might even have a partner that comes to you if you're in a, could be a committed relationship, could be making date nights, time alone time with your partner. Okay. Oh my gosh. So you have the compassion over here coming in with the moon upside down. It feels like everything's kind of like, mm, kind of in the backdrop with the moon upside down. It feels like something might be a little hidden um, and it could be giving you some anxieties and some insomnia um, this month. But you have the Ten of Pentacles coming out and it looks like you're going to have the awareness that you need with the compassion over here. Um, let's see. So Spirit really wants you to know about the compassion over here, Leo, that... Let's see what 99 says. This card indicates a time to be kind and compassionate towards others, especially those who extend beyond your family and circle of friends. Whether it's all the ill-tempered clerk at the supermarket checkout or the homeless person on the street, you are being urged to look beyond the judgments to see what lies beneath. And that's kind of what this is, right? Kind of like what's kind of hidden. Okay. Don't judge a man until they've walked um, a mile in their shoes. I kind of feel like this is actually someone who might be doing this to you more so. And it feels like you're going to give the compassion back to yourself, opening yourself up to high priestess over here and saying, this is, you know, I see what's going on um, around me, which is going to give you more satisfaction towards yourself. <clears throat> Having the realizations of everything that's surrounding you. Okay. Giving you the ace of pentacles. Yeah. This is going to bring you in more hopes and joys and things around you. Um, yeah. And if you have somebody who's not moving towards you um, in the past, you guys, it kind of feels like if you're single with this Ace of Pentacles here and this chariot kind of sitting on the other side, you might bump into somebody this month. Um, it might be a new person or someone from your past that, you know, has been maybe even kind of giving you insomnia like you know how come you don't want to come close to me and now they're going to come close to you um gets that support over there okay so but you're going to be embracing more passion this month with the compassion sitting here um and excitement is going to start coming with the ace of pentacles once you get into the high priestess you will have the ten of pentacles which is going to bring this excitement and um, this passion okay back into your life, not having to feel all these doubts and insecurities for those of you who do feel those doubts and insecurities. And those of you who don't have the doubts and insecurities and this doesn't resonate with you, just remember you do, no matter what, have um, more excitement coming from the compassion, right? People are going to notice you with more compassion. They're going to come at you with more compassion. Okay, so, ooh, could be dealing with a with a water sign, all that compassion, right? 
Cancer or Pisces coming at you. <laughs> it's a Cancer here too, maybe even a Scorpio. Some kind of water sign might be coming at you with some compassion. I see what you're doing. I see, you know, this and that, right? Okay, so let's see what the outcome is for you. And a pink pinnacles. Ooh, with the judgment. Very nice. So for those of you who are single, it does feel to me like there is good news coming your way. It seems like, well, we got the star coming in as well with the seven of cups clarifying on the, the star card. So it looks to me like you do have good news. Uh, anybody you've been wishing upon a star for it could be an Aquarius or a this water sign or an, a Sagittarius. A Sag again. Um, same with over here. Could be also dealing with a Sagittarius if you're married or in a commitment. Could be anybody. Um, but it does look like your wishes are coming true. They are getting closer to you. It looks like you're going to have um, a lot of healing this month and a lot of options coming towards you. And it does feel like a powerhouse moment. You guys could be traveling. Like I said, over here, it looks like your partner might, you know, ask you to go on a date night with you, um, getting closer and having time alone. So just beautiful things coming at you. So if you are single, watch for that person who might be coming in saying, hey, you want to have a date night? You want to go out? You want to do things? Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.